What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, episode number 72 with me, Gamer Noob. Let's not do that. I wasn't going to do that. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Check out my journal. I got to go Jack, help Jack, and then I got to stop the collectors. Let's go do that. Let's go help out Jackarino, shall we? Oh, we're already there. I knew that. I knew that the whole time. All right, Jack. Let's get this taken care of for you, shall we? Well, of course, Jack comes. And, ah, oh, we got to bring our girl Tali along. Absolutely. Uh, eight, four points for slam. Where, where squad member is not loyal, which is crazy to me, but... Just crank that up. Um, attack drone or explosive drone? Cool. Machinist, please. Peak efficiency, increasing the duration, or firearms. Yeah, we'll go engineer. We're going to hold off to maybe do energy drain. And, you know, we'll keep you for warp ammo. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Yeah, calm down, Jack. You're supposed to be a badass. You'll be fine. Let's take them on out. We're getting close to the end, so, I mean, it's getting exciting for sure. I've been told to be careful in the last mission. Make sure I plot things correctly, assign people the correct ways. I don't know what all that means quite yet, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. All right, let's go, friends. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. Let's do it. I wonder what's still going to be here, though. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. This is unbelievable. It's pretty terrible, isn't it? All right, where's it at? There it is. And then double blue in the middle. There you go. Perfect. Give me my money. Need more money. What's this? Security. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. He won't find out. The elusive man requested operation log. Huh. Sounds like this facility went rogue. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. Yeah. He I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Right, of course, we didn't give it to him. Screw that guard. I think I heard something. Batteries, let's see. Alrighty. 3,000 more credits. Don't mind if I do. Oh, can't even go up there. Don't mind if I don't, then. I thought I heard a noise. They've seen us. Combat throws the way. Combat drone explode. Eh, yeah, nice. One down. Run while you can. Barons are easy to take out. 
Because they don't fight normally. They just walk awkwardly. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Eh, it's a little messed up. Hell yeah. Not gonna lie, it's a little messed up. This facility, Jack's backstory sucks. I don't like it. I mean, I don't think I'm supposed to like it, but it, it's really messed up. Security officer Zimko, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Something's going on, that's for sure. More dead Baron. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was a little weird. A little weird the Baron were dead there. Doesn't make much sense if nobody's around, you know. Oh, yay. Some element zero. I'm so happy that we went in there. Oh, wait. I don't care. <laughs> Elements here is not really not needed much at the moment. We've been spotted. Just wanna blow that up if you don't mind. Poor Baron. Or not Baron. Poor uh, I forget what these things are called all of a sudden. Goodbye. You're you're charging the wrong way. Dude. These little guys just get one tapped and it's hilarious. <laughs> Ever since I got this gun, I love combat. It's made my life much nicer. Before that, not so much. This was a small facility. The other children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it and I made it out alive. You say so, Jack. Can you not imagine that maybe they were doing it to other people just as bad as you and you were just surviving the experiments? Could that not be the case? Jack doesn't like to think about that, though. Doesn't like to think that could be the possibility of what happened. That she got lucky. Let's click that. Almost clicked the wrong ones there, but we got there in the end. So strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go first. Yeah, let's do that. I'm surprised we're not like exclaiming about blood pack members being here at all. Like we don't seem to care at all about that. Oh, I was paying attention, I swear. I died at the video game, I missed it. Are you stuck on the stairs there, bud? You're making it difficult to hit you doing that. Okay, you're just being annoying. I can't like hit it. Very weird. Are you, are 
are you are you good? That's what they did, Tali. We're not even two jack cell yet. This it's a two way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. That's rough. Some psychological. I must have come through here when I broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. All right, well, we won't stay here very long, Jack. I'm just gonna go in, blow your cell up, and get out. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. <clears throat> you can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. That's right. It's not on you, Jack. Definitely not on you. Light at the top. And then double orange in the middle. I'll take it. It's biotic damage. I'll take it. Absolutely. Figured we'd get something like that down here, honestly. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. I feel like your cell's gonna be a room, honestly. Hey, Arash, it's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk credits. You promised us lots of salvage. But this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put him down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. Hmm, don't think that's gonna happen, but... On my own. I want them dead. Oh, he didn't die anymore. That's sad. Nothing can stop me. Where did they go? There's one. Pop the top of his head off there real quick. This should soften them up. Closing. Alright, we'll focus on the blood pack warriors first. We can actually just blast their heads off, so. Now we're the next one. Come on. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. I thought you could come toward me. I don't think I did. I think he's going to come toward us now. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh yeah, no, look, so here he comes. It doesn't do very well on armor. Still fun to shoot, though. Lost 
shield. Ow. Yeah, we'll find some. We'll find some ammo. Or yet. There you are. Kirik, I mean, you're you're trying, but it's just not gonna happen. I mean, you can't even take out Jack or Tali, and that's just sad. You're like playing Ring Around the Rosie on you. Only room left is my old cell. Whoever Aresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. That's right. We'll figure out who it is, don't worry. Uh, did you see that prediction? I didn't even check. I didn't even check. That was just full confidence click there. I knew exactly what it was going to be. I'm a genius. Alright. Knock, knock, friend. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh. And you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this. But a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down, but then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never going to restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck. Get out of here. Go. He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. Yeah, they got like a, she got like a real room. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell, never did any good. Why was she treated so differently? Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. Not pathetic. Is that everything in here? Looks like everything in here. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Let's do it. 
big boom incoming. That's a big explosion to be blowing just that facility up. Oh my goodness. I mean, I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Leveled up. Facility on Prague, you confirmed to destroy concerns that previous cleanup crew failed to destroy all records. Surviving facility scientists already dead, either from uprising or facility shutdown. Jack should have no further emotional issues distracting him from the mission. We unlock Jack's power. We unlock Jack, Jack's new outfit. You got a biotic damage, got 30,000 credits, and some element zero. Catharsis. Alright, time to get up. Disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. <laughs> Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. You're welcome. Punks yelling at each other. Calm the hell down. My goodness. Too, too much going on for y'all to be yelling at each other like that. Oh, people, people, people. Just making life difficult, aren't they? I do want to speak with Tali. You're correct. But I want to also get my upgrade first. Biotic damage 5 of 5? Alright, cool. Alright, Tali, I'm on my way, friend. We always gotta make sure Tali's doing good. We can't live without her. She's too valuable. Even though we just recruited her, like, very recently. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Ward has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. 
It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. Of course I'll I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. We're gonna go fix it up then. Hey, Jack. You need to talk. After what happened, can I walk? Thank you. What up, Jack? I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you and weighs you. You don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy. But you let a wretch live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. You sure about this? I want to do whatever I can to get your head on straight. Don't get all therapist on me, Shepard. You're not the couch type. I hate that stuff anyway. Bullshit, prison, psych. You did me a favor, and that's enough. More than I expected. I'll keep it together. Good, Jack. Good. All right. Back up to the top. Let's go help Tali on this tree. Like, what could she have possibly been accused of? Somebody somewhere is being a little fucky. <clears throat> Unacceptable. We gotta get our Tali off of trees and charges. Not not gonna happen. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly. Alright, where is it at? Over here? Over here. We have more planets to scan. Oh my god. We do. We do have more planets to scan. Alright, well I'll be back when we get done scanning them, guys. Alright, I think we've scanned everything. Let's see here. If I do that, is it 100%? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure nothing was hitting. hidden. The Migrant Fleet could have dire ramifications in Mass Effect 3. Oh dear. Well, Tali's obviously coming. I'm gonna bring Jack along too. Wait, cancel that though. Let's get you your full outfit there. Um, beautiful. Slam completed. Oh, incapacitation. Yes, I like it. All right, uh, still holding out on you, but you got your warp ammo, which is awesome. You'll also give it to the squad, please. Thank you. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> I should have equipped Tali with weapons and stuff, but I for totally didn't. This is Tali Zora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with Araya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, 
I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. We finally get to see the flotilla. I've been wanting to see this. Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard you. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Har as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Telly helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on the project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no... No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the garden plaza. Good luck. Can I fail the trial? Oh god. Am I gonna have to be a a, a lawyer? You know, just just on the off chance that we can. Uh, I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna shave that real quick. You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. All I right. I can't believe they're charging Tally Zora. Tally Zora can be the Quarian captain's damper. She's as good as. Oh yeah. You think so? We'll see. Tali Zora West Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron, Shepherd West Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaron Bastonde. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Bas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. You're an Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zorovas. Whatever we must call you legally. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. Got you, so, Tali. Uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Alright, this is going to be a rough one. Probably won't be talking a lot during this one. I'll probably just have myself muted and let the game talk a lot. So, alright, let's watch this really long, I'm assuming, cutscene if I had to guess.
This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zora of Us Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Talia's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard Bas Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Bas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Sound Chorus, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tali have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units. Only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how death seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kira. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarry and strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. The shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Time to go stomp some geth. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? 
The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allory. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that ship. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Riazora only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the whole world. Or a strong fleet, at least. That was how he showed his love. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Okay, talk to the other admirals. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Rahn got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. I'll blow up some geth on the way. And you're Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I'm just here to help Tally, Admiral. I'm glad someone is. You believe I'm innocent, don't you, Admiral? I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Could you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best Marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. The ship is crawling with geth. 
Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. I know that, Tali. But if Shala hadn't suggested you my volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tali? The one you didn't recognize, Tali, is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during the bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. Brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's rail for you. It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the votes. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. And both points are true. He does need a place to shelter his non-combatants. But, like, I, yeah, so there's a lot going on. So I know that's Admiral Chorus. Is there anyone to talk to on this side before we do that? And then once we talk to Admiral Chorus, I think we're going to call it until next episode. Yeah, there is. There are some Loyalty bunch of people to talk to over here. All right. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Could you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Hangerl sees an enemy that must be crushed. Valkorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace, then, as Charla Rahn is too careful to risk her own neck. But if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, 
things could become very exciting. You support experiments on living creatures? Rael should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth? Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. If it was possible, though, it'd be Thank pretty cool. Information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Hey, Cal. Cal Rieger. Shepard, Tali Zora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... Stayed to argue the charges against Tali Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Geralt are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's sun? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. We should get going. Yeah, they would Good luck help. on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I uh, heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the Admirals how she helped you? 
No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Good old Vitor. One more admiral to talk to, and then we will call this episode, because it's getting kind of long. If Talizora is stuck with a human, Captain? Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quibquib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. You have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active death to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrans or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quib Quib. I will not flee because of petty insults. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You and the other Admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We've all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end for both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tal. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Good guy, actually. Not a bad guy. All right, guys, we're going to call it here because we're already an hour in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.